Hi guys, it's CryptoRocker here, and today I'm talking about one of the most undervalued coins in my opinion, and that is VeChain. Right, today's video, guys, is going to be a very quick one. I'll try to keep it less than five minutes. I'm just going to go through the basics because VeChain has got so much to it, so many partnerships, the technology behind it, the rebranding. So I'm going to keep the ba keep it to basics. If you are interested in this video, guys, if I get enough likes and subscribes, I will do a detailed one like I've done for Tron or Verge. So I'll go into the white paper, the team, the technology. So what is VeChain? According to VeChain, they're the world's leading blockchain platform for products and information. So VeChain is an ERC20 token. So they're on the Ethereum platform and their speciality is RFID tracking and um, Internet of Things. I think they've got very good partnerships from Internet of Things, uh, people who are very knowledgeable on Internet of Things, and th that is very, very exciting space to, to be in. So some of their products, some of the industry that they work in is luxury goods. So luxury goods, you know, there's a lot of counterfeits, there's a lot of fake stuffs going on. Um, so being in the industry with the RFID tracking with blockchain um, immutability, the blockchain technology, um, they can make it very secure and safe and then can rectify that industry. So there's a big, big growth in that industry. They could be working with some of the biggest brands and they're in agriculture as well with the uh, Internet of Things, IoT devices, um, food and drugs. So this is another interesting thing. So they can. Yeah, they're in the logistics industry as well with the RFID tracking and 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 what they can do is with using blockchain technology they can um for example would be controlling the food temperature so when we transport food they need to be at a certain temperature like sushi um, and they have they have to be within a range so with blockchain technology V chain uh, technology can control that rather than controlling it with um handwritten or um people entering data with blockchain it's locked in we know what it is it cannot be changed um so and they've got the biggest one they're working with governments as well so it is brilliant brilliant um thing and then one of the one of the things that i like about v chain is, is that they're not just all talk like most of the coins they've actually got successful implemented blockchain solutions and working products so this is what we want to see more of um VeChain is going through a rebranding. This is this is their new one, so they're rebranding to VeChain Thor, and this is going to be another exciting thing. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to have their own platform. So that currently they're using the Ethereum platform. They want to create their own platform, so they won't be that they, they'll they won't be just a D app. That they will be competing with Ethereum, Neo, Cardano. So this would be a big big step. Some of the uh, partners the biggest one is pwc I'm, I'm sure most of you guys know um what they uh, about their about pwc use cases guys i would advise you to go on their website and watch these um i'm just going through the basics if you want in detail what what the how they work if you have got videos on there i love their website because most websites are not as um user friendly as theirs and they they try to explain what they do um i'll talk about their team guys the team is very very impressive they usually they've got, they've got one of the biggest teams in in most in, in in the cryptocurrency space so that is a very very big positive i'll talk about their team in a minute their roadmap is very interesting guys and they have been delivering with the, according to their um, roadmap i've talked about their own blockchain that is coming in quarter two of this year and they've got big things in the, coming up um this is a an article that i'd advise you guys to look at um i'll i'll leave the link below um they talk about the governance structure of vchain and it's good to see this sort of structure in a cryptocurrency company because usually you see that in big organizational companies the FTSE 100 companies so having that in uh, in a cryptocurrency coin is very very um impressive so i would advise you to read through this before investing in uh, vchain um, again, this talks about the basics. What I want to look at is the team. So the, the CEO is Sonny Liu. He was also the co-founder for Quantum. I'm sure you guys know. It's another big, big cryptocurrency giant. So he has got experience and he has also worked in the Louis Vuitton Chinese division. So in the luxury goods where VeChain is. So if you put the two together, you can see why VeChain can be successful. 
currently guys all the coins are at the very preliminary stage so we're, we're investing in the in the people in the team rather than the company because um, in in stock market you can analyze the numbers and you invest in a company but here you invest more in in the people because it's such a preliminary stage but the team like i said they've got one of the biggest teams in the cryptocurrency space and they've got some brilliant advisors who worked in big big companies so this is all good to see i've talked about their partners they're probably one of the better coins for partners probably the, b the best one in the recent couple of months in the past months the, the partnerships they've come up with they're they're in partner with the chinese government on a national level so this is a brilliant brilliant big big positive for v chain they're working exclusively with the chinese to uh, as a technology partner to developing a whole city um, into a smart city so again you can see think about the business the support they're going to get and um, their partners with pwc you, uh, i'd advise you to look through their partners they're working with microsoft renault Group. Renault Group. Uh, one of the partners that I want to talk about is Kunan and Nagel. They're one of the biggest logistics companies in the world. Um, I've actually worked with Kunan and Nagel, so I know a bit about them. Um, I can see how VeChain can work with them to be very, very successful. And price uh, PwC, guys, it's not just a company. PwC's network could allow VeChain to have even more and more um, partners in the future. Supply chain as well, um, healthcare industry with them. Um, digital passport, the fashion industry, the high luxury industry, automobile industry with Microsoft and um, they, they can have a, a, a detailed passport of where the ve the vehicle owners, the history of a vehicle in a blockchain technology. Um, so it's very, very big, big news, guys. And um, recently they've come up with a BMW partnership. Um, when they're coming up with the VeChain through a rebranding again, <laughs> most people know what BMW is, so this will help them get into the mainstream. VeChain marketing is very, very good. Um, I always look at the social media guys. Uh, VeChain's social media and exposure has gone through the roof since their rebranding. Um, they're very popular on Twitter. One thing I always check is their Reddit. Reddit. VeChain is quite popular on Reddit and I like the community here because for Verge and Tron, although I've made videos about them, the Reddit is more about speculation. VeChain is a bit more like Litecoin. People are talking about the use cases, how it can work in the technology. So this is a plus, a big, big positive for, for VeChain. Um, I also like to talk about risks. I think I've covered the things that I wanted to cover. Um, they have got competition from Walton and Wabi. I'm not sure where they've got Wabi here. But yeah, they're in the logistics industry, so they have got competition. But what VeChain is trying to do, the partnership that they've got, they're in a good place to compete with them. And they'll probably be the bigger bigger dog in the competition and um, if they are if they are creating a platform a d app platform so they will be competing with the likes of ethereum cardano eos and neo so that's going to be tough competition because they'll be new on the market space but they'll be coming at it from an experienced angle from what they've already got so they will have uh, a unique value proposition which which would help which would help them again it talks about some of the com competition and one of the risks of uh, v chain is regulations with regulations coming up and China, you know what the regulations they've come up with. Although they're partners with China, I think that could affect them in the future. And another thing is the prices are actually dropped, even though they've come up with some brilliant partnerships. In a way, this is refreshing to see that the cryptocurrency market is moving away from partnerships. Because before, if there was a partnership, the prices would shoot through the roof now people want to see actual use cases and working product this is a positive thing and i'm happy that this has happened so people want to see working products rather than partnerships so next from vchain we're expecting more working products and I'm, i hope that vchain would be able to deliver that so the price prediction guys um, if you look at what um, some of the competitors for VeChain's market cap are if they can have similar market cap like Neo and Adder, they can, so, and Cardano, sorry, they could be at twenty or ninety five dollars. So looking at where they are, they've got big, big room to grow. And I believe that if cryptocurrency market grows this year, with with where they already are, with some of the partnerships, their RFID with logistics and luxury goods, um, and with the new DApp platform, I can see VeChain potentially 
been close to 100 so again this is a very ridiculous price prediction that I'm making here but as as you can see some of the bases that I've gone through uh, my logic behind it um, so some of the price predictions people make for other coins uh, with VeChain some of the partnerships the team and uh, the products the the vision that they've got um, I think 100 is not as ridiculous so potentially VeChain could hit 100 but before you invest all your money guys always do your own research um, but if you want me to go into detail for VeChain with looking at their white paper and technology smash that like button and leave comments and subscribe to my channel and I will make a part 2 analysis of VeChain similar to the, what I've done for Tron and Verge I'll do it in detail I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed this video guys and if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions leave them below thank you very much guys and I will see you guys soon